starting off the day with a little bit of pre-workout. Just a little bit. So, we are about four-ish weeks out now from Worlds. And it is drying time season, baby. <sighs> Here we go. It is March 21st, 2022. It is March 23rd and it's time to get workout in. It is March 28th. It's March 30th, 2020. It is April 5th. It's April 6th. April 11th. April 13th. Let's run. It is April 14th. It's April 18th. The dog has decided to stand right where I'm going to run. First four by myself. I've been doing the cardio this week, so it doesn't feel too bad. I feel like I could have pushed more. But all done, you gotta send it in. I can't keep. We are now two weeks out from Worlds, which means it's time to start leg burners. If you've ever done a hip hop dance before, you know going full out, most of the time your legs are burning and it really hurts to continue to stay grounded at the lower hand. So something I love to do is called a leg burner. What I do is I go do a wall sit on the wall for the entirety of my hip hop song. Did a full run. Went pretty good. Um, didn't go as hard as I could have though because the space is small. But I went for it. Now it's like burns. You're the night sky trying to make me see yours. So this is probably my least favorite part of prep, but I actually track how much I eat and. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, that's so toxic. I actually under eat, like really badly for the amount of exercising and teaching and like go, go, going I do. I under eat like almost to an extreme. Sometimes I'm eating like almost over, almost under like a thousand calories what I should be having in a day. I'm writing this all down because I can't put it in as I do it. I like to make sure I'm eating enough food um, in all nutritional aspects. I still eat junk food. I still have some candy, you know, like I'm not going to give up for 30 days all of my favorite things, but it's really important to make sure that when you're prepping for a big competition that you are getting all of the nutritional factors that you need, even if it's boring and it takes forever. The dark gets lonely. Now I see violet, I can feel silence. And the dark's all that I see when your star. No sound. I'll find valid in your eyes. Hello. So here's something new we did is we took a journal, right? I listened through my music and I wrote down notes 
of just different points throughout the dance I need to think about. Maybe some of them are new corrections, some of them are things I struggle with. Tiny things to really focus on while I'm doing the dance this weekend, because this weekend is our last weekend before we leave. We have showcase and a little bit of practice, but not a ton. Um, the great thing is you can do this with literally any dance. It's super helpful just so you can go over and remember maybe new corrections, things that you really need to focus on while you're doing the dance. Especially in All Star, it can be really hard sometimes to focus on your dance while you're doing it since a lot of the time you're super focused on how tired you are. But the more you can stay in tune with being in the moment um, in your choreography, and this helps a lot, is when it's going to make a difference on stage because it's all the cleaning and the tiny things that you have to execute it while you're doing the dance full out. Otherwise, it doesn't make a difference. Good morning. It is officially the last practice before Worlds. It is almost 9 a.m. We have a 45 minute practice and then we have like an hour break and then we have practice with everybody. We'll probably get like our shirts and stuff then. And then this afternoon we have our send off with everyone and a meeting and that's it. It's, it's the time is here. Here we go. Always be my night sky. Hey, 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 hey.